I didn't actually work in the studios on that. I think there was a little bit of politics that stopped me getting involved because I, I don't know that for certain, but I was working in a, another model workshop that had got a huge amount of that work, the model work from that film to do outside. And uh, so I stayed there, which actually wasn't a problem. I, I wouldn't have earned any different amount of money in the studios or otherwise on it. Um, but I enjoyed building the models. We had some fantastic aeroplanes. I built, well, it was like an SE5 on a, on a gun carriage with big carriage wheels on it and the, the rotary engine on it resembled um, the magazine on a revolver. And it, there was a lot of technical things to get over because that had to work as it fired, that had to step round. Um, and a lot of the model making that, that we did was figuring out the mechanics of something that was unfathomable, really. Some director had got an idea in his head, or art director had got an idea in their head that, you know, oh, this is what we'll do, and we're filming it in three weeks' time, and you were lumbered with the job of, you know, inventing something that's never been invented before and making it work in front of camera on the day. Um, but again, that challenge was what made it so interesting. There's so many things where you work hours and hours and hours on this stuff, and you go to the crew preview with your family and you wait patiently, and uh, you know, if you blinked, you missed all that work that you'd put in because it was such a small cut in the movie. But I, could, I, I don't think that I would have had any other job that. That I could have, you know, I was being paid to play and I was being paid bloody good money to pay at that. And, and so from that point of view, it was always great fun. I had a lot of good friends that I worked with too. And we, we were all of, we were all of the same frame of mind. And to be perfectly honest, there were several of us that worked together, particularly um, out of Pete Aston's workshop, Model Effects at Watford, um, where... We regularly worked together there, we regularly worked long hours, we regularly went away on location together. So there was a, a bit of a band of brothers sort of feel to it all. And it was it was more important than that school chums thing because that common bond was, was that we actually all, uh, we all did the same thing and we all had a very, very strong respect for each other's capability and not only that, we sort of, we helped a few others along with their, you know, so they, they learnt a lot. And we still meet up and go and have a curry now and then and have a laugh and talk about old times. And of course, when we were there, then, the old boys that were telling us about what they did, we're them now, you know, and it's, it's but there's not going to be anyone else who can carry that tradition on and, and tell the stories that we can about, you know, all the things that we did. It's, it's sad. If I'm really honest, but the things that I most liked doing was the big fly models. Uh, and, and partly, I think, because it usually meant we'd have a location away abroad. And, and that would be, you know, a great time. 